Hi there gorgeous, hope you're having a fabulous day. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I make videos like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you'd like to be notified of new videos in the future, please subscribe and thank you so much in advance if you do. Today I'm showing you an up close tutorial for a new summer trend that has popped up for 2019 and that is white eyeliner. This has been seen on many celebrities and social media, et cetera, et cetera. And it's actually a very wearable look for summer. The look I'm showing you today is very simplistic I'll show you how to make white eyeliner wearable, give you some other alternatives for how to wear it, as well as my top recommended pens from the drugstore for creating a look with white eyeliner. So if you want to step outside your comfort zone, try something new. I feel like this is a really great trend for doing just that. Oh, my hair is still not dry. I really don't want to crink it. So I'm going to attempt to just put it up with these little clips here so it's not in my face because supposedly these don't dent your hair. They look funky, but <laughs> supposedly they work. That's cute. First thing I'm going to do is apply an eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Revlon one. This is one I've been using a lot lately and I've come to really like it. And this is a very simplistic look because I want to keep most of the focus on the white eyeliner. So I don't think I'm going to add any eyeshadow? Well, let me think about that for a second here. Well, let's add a little something. I think I want to go with a light wash of color, something like Max Groundwork Paint Pot would be really great here. So that's what I'm going to use. And if you're not familiar with this, it's a simple cream eyeshadow. Looks like that. Using the MAC 242 brush, I'm applying that lightly on the lids. You don't need much. And once I get it up into the crease about there, I'm going to stop before I blend it. So let me make this other eye match real quick. To blend out those edges, I'm taking the Sedona Lace EB09 brush and I'm lightly going to go over them. I love this paint pot because it is so effortless on the eyes. It's very natural looking if you have a complexion type like mine. I mean, it's not natural, but it doesn't overpower the look. It allows a more bold look to speak louder. Then I'm taking, I really need to buy a new one of these, the Wet n Wild Brulee Eyeshadow. And I am lightly going to take some of this and blend the edges and then apply it on the brow bone also. And this will further diffuse any harsh lines. And it's pretty, see, it's very light, very nude-ish. Then I'm taking the Rimmel Scandalized Precision Micro Eyeliner in the shade Black. And this is what I feel like makes white eyeliner wearable. Some people can apply white eyeliner on the lash line and it looks gorgeous. Other people can make you look dead. That's the case for me personally. I cannot apply white eyeliner onto my upper lash line by itself because I just look dead. And when you add the blonde eyelashes into the mix, it looks <laughs> even worse. So for me, I have found that I have to apply a black eyeliner very sparingly to the upper lash line to make the lashes look fuller and thicker. And that also helps to make the white eyeliner pop more. So that's what I'm going to be doing here is I'm taking the black eyeliner and I'm doing a very small thin line with it. So you want to keep this very close to your natural lash line, to, as close to it as you possibly can. And there you can see what I mean from this eye to this eye, how much this eye pops now with having that black eyeliner applied. And you can imagine what it will do when you further add the white eyeliner on top of it. And now we are ready for the white eyeliner. And there are two that I really love that are both drugstore priced. And they are the ones from Ardell, the Fame Chaser Liquid Eyeliner. This is in the shade white. <laughs> and you can see how pigmented this one is. It's very rich and it's got a very sharp application with it also. And my second favorite is from L'Oreal Infallible Paints line, White Party. And again, a very sharp line with this one, very pigmented. Now I also read that Stila makes a white eyeliner that's a very highly rated. I can't speak to that because I don't own that one, but if you're looking for another alternative, 
that was one I heard was really good too. But for this video, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Paints one in White Party. And there are a couple different ways that you can apply white eyeliner depending on your preference. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. So if you wanna play around and do something creative, feel free. Now, one of the ways you could do it is just apply it to the outer half of the eye. And this would give you just a small cat eye. It's a great way to dip your toe into white eyeliner without going full-blown white eyeliner. You can also do what I'm getting ready to show you, which is a full cat eye wing, you know, the whole shebang with the white eyeliner. You could even do a black wing with your regular black liquid eyeliner and then do some white dots on the outer corner just to add some of that graphic black and white theme into your eye look. It's really up to you. So what I'm doing is applying this directly on top of that black line. I can't talk when I'm doing this or I'm gonna mess it up. And for the best part, the wing, I'm gonna take that white eyeliner. Ah, I'm losing it. We're gonna let this one sit for a second. I think I may have overwhelmed it a little bit. I'm using the Ardell one right now. And same thing. Wait, it is not reacting well, <laughs> either one of these, to a wing. So I'm liking this, but what I think I want to do to make that white pop a little more is take a little bit more of the black and line underneath it. All right, there we go. I did struggle a little bit with that white eyeliner and I really feel like it's because of the paint pot. Maybe if I would have left that off of my eye completely, it would have been a little easier to use the white eyeliner. Oh my gosh, my wings never come out this good on camera ever. They do when I'm by myself all the time, all the time. But when I'm on camera, they never look this good. And if you try this out for yourself, I just share a little tip with you here that I have been doing sporadically throughout this whole video without you seeing it on camera necessarily. I've been taking this in between drawing lines and when I notice that it's starting to struggle over that paint pot, <laughs> I've been like wiping it on my hand to get it to come back. And that helps to clear the tip and make it a little easier to get the product onto the eye. Mm -hmm. Get ready to apply my brow product and I think I am out of it. It's the ColourPop one in Auburn. I love this stuff. So I'm going to use something else. I have enough to do one brow, but not the other. Have you ever had a pencil like that? It's like, why? All right, I'm gonna go with an old favorite, the Givenchy eyebrow pencil in the shade Blonde. That's not the right end. <laughs> I'm going to add some lashes because that's my thing, that's my thing. The lashes that I'm choosing to pair up with this look are from my lash line, Inky Minky Lashes. And if you're interested in them, I'll have them linked for you below. These are in the style Authentic. So I'll show you what they look like up close. They're a very light pair, clear band. They don't compete with eye looks, which is why I've been using them so much is because when you have something going on like this that you want to be the focus and the center of attention, you really don't want your lashes to detract from that. So that's why these have become my go-tos lately. The great thing about this look is that it's still simplistic on the eyes, even though you do have a bit of a dramatic flare going on there. So you can add a statement lip to the look to punch it up a bit more. I chose to go with something a little more coral today and both products I use are from NYX. They're Butter Lipstick in the shade Lollies and their Butter Gloss in the shade Maple Blondie. And together they create a very beautiful coral lip 
perfect for the summer months. So I hope that you found this helpful today. Let me know if this is a trend that you will be trying out or not. If not, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Thanks for hanging out with me anyway. I really appreciate you being here and I look forward to seeing you again next time.